I think learn that he has a different life outside of just Eliza's cases that we see. He's got, you know, multiple cases which puts this pressure on him constantly. An arson attack on the city's largest opium den. Six schoolgirls smuggled to the continent for brothel fodder. And he's got many, many qualities uh, to make him a good boss. I think he's a real leader. Tipping off the press stops now. I don't care how much they're paying, nor do I care how many free pints, free dinners, or free women they dangle in front of you. None of these qualities I have. He's a real leader. He's got the complete respect of his team. Detective Fitzroy needs to come with me. A case has just come up and I need his help. But the governor said that he was- I'm your governor, and I'm telling you that Fitzroy is with me. Yes, joke. He knows when to push them. He knows when to tell them off and when to praise them. And I think that really commands the respect of his team. Thank you, sir. I don't know what you're talking about. Come along. The people that are under him and working for him really see that. Unfortunately, the people that are above him don't really see that. All a prime suspect who's in your custody has done a runner. You're unable to locate her, a woman. She's a private detective, sir. She has contacts. Are you not one of them? I can assure you that I've had no hand in this, sir. I can also assure you that Eliza Scarlet is not the perpetrator. Barking up the wrong tree. Enough! The other thing that makes him a brilliant copper and was probably quite different of even men at the time or other detectives at the time, because it's quite a bravado world, is that he has empathy and he ha has this real vulnerable quality. He's very thoughtful and we get to see those moments more. So he cares, yeah. You come in on time, ready to work and we'll take it from now. Thank you, sir. He comes from a life on the streets and he recognises what crime does and he sort of feels for the victims, I think, in the crimes. What else do we learn about him? That he is capable of a relationship? <laughs> that he is capable of love and settling down? Actually looks rather good. <laughs> Perhaps there's a homemaker in you yet. Ah, no, thank you. I can think of nothing worse. That is the extent of my domestic ever, so make the most of it. Uh, surely one day you hope to have a family if you want to look after. You're teasing me, William. I won't rise to it. The idea that he could settle down with someone with that right person. 